Welcome to Image Manipulation directly in AL. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, sorry, I need a haircut. Um, one one of the things that have changed over the years, uh, I, I might even say months actually, but at least the last couple of years, is that system app, uh, the non-accounting part of, of all the AL stuff that we have available has become way more capable of doing all sorts of things that we might need. Uh, and among the things that have been added is a, uh, is a code you need for messing with bitmaps, messing with images. Um, so I thought, how about we take a look at that together and figure out uh, what can we actually do directly in AL uh, with images? Um, I'm thinking that you know, uh, quite a, quite often, you know, the ability to crop or to resize or stuff like that would be very convenient. But let's see what we can do. And uh, just before, as usual, just before I start the video, uh, I fired up a new extension, so. Uh, so let, let's try. And I, and I think what we need is actually a, um, just, an, just an action. Homage. Homage to images. That's a good action. I don't know if that's the right way to homage. I think that's with an H and then we pronounce it in French. Uh, but I write it with O in this one. Uh, image stuff. There we go. Case and area equal all. Um, trigger. So let's. Um, okay. So what I noticed, and the reason this video exists, is that if I create a variable called let's call it image code unit of type image. So what can we do with the image? Clear, crop, from base 64, from stream, get format, get format as text, get height, get rotate flip type, uh, get width, resize, rotate flip, save set format to base 64, and run. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's try this out. We 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 need an image, so let's uh, create an in stream. Uh, and the reason I, I created Instream is because I want to do if upload into stream. And uh, let's look at the parameters. From filter, we don't care. Um, oh, maybe what's the other? Uh, dialog, uh, upload image. Let's do something like that. Wow, I can't spell here. Upload image. Um, the overload, and then from folder we don't care. From filter we don't care. From file that's a file name, so we do need that, and then an in stream. So if that, then do stuff. So let's add a file name. There we go. Now we have a way to upload a file. Uh, so the way streams works is that. The file is uploaded, and then the, the image is sitting in an upload buffer outside of AL. Uh, and we just get, think think of it as Microsoft has their own little templop sitting uh, behind the scene. So you upload, they put it in their templop, and then we can ask Microsoft to please connect this in stream to the secret templop behind the scene. So now we can read from this. Um, and I think there was something image and then from stream, and that function happens to so take an in stream. So I guess we have an image loaded here. So what about we do message? And what do we do? We do image dot get format. How about that? I think that's a good program. Upload it. And and here's another thing that that if if you're a dinosaur, um, uh, then you you when you look at code unit, you think that oh, that's just a code library. But 
in reality, that's no longer how you should look at a code unit. Code unit is an object uh, with functions uh, and and data and and memory, so to speak. So when you say image from stream, then we're actually loading the image into uh, into this code unit object. So if I wanted, I could I could do an image two and say code unit image and now I have two images um, so so it's more like an object with data and function than it's just a code library with pure code anyway let's try this and book uh, do the what the action image stuff is not found in a target customer list what did we do I, at first, wow, even so, wow. Did you yell at the screen all the time? At first in processing. I don't know. There we go. I think we are in business now. Uh, so here's a function. Upload an image. I think I have somewhere my usual if you ever seen a uh, video of me doing working with uh, the SharePoint connector, you know I have a whole set of cute animal photos, and here is a photo of a koala. JPEG. Hang on. Okay, so so let me let me see if I actually have. Here is another one. Let's try another one. Uh, image stuff. You see, I will grab the puppies here because that's a PNG. Okay. Interesting. That seems to work. So get format. What else can we get? Uh, let's add another one. Backslash plus two. Comma, let's see what we can. I'll do image, get format as text. Okay, so we got the format as text because that's how message works. That we get formats is actually returning an enum image format enum, but then message will call default format on it, and default format for an enum is to return the text. Um, but we can also get the, it directly as a text instead without having to put format around. Get height and in interior. Sure, let's get the height. And then let's see what else. Image dot get. Uh, let's just get the width also and then that image start what was the last one there was a cool one rotate flip type let's try that so how many one two three four percent three percent four so this is uh rotate flip why type this is height I think we have the space there, and this is width, and this is type. Let's try, let's try that again. Uh, image, and we will do orangutans. So, um, if you noticed that, by the way, that I typed backslash into into the message, that is, that is a line break. So if you want to have multiple lines in, in the message, uh, backslash. This is an old, old nav, even a navision trick. Anyway, we've got a, the type and width and height and the rotate fly type. Let's uh, improve that with a P. Flip type, rotate none, flip none. Uh, so the question is, do I have something? What 
do I have that might be rotated? Uh, that would be like a photo from a phone or something like that. I think iPhones are notorious for just saying that, you know what, this photo is rotated if you do landscape or. So let me grab a something out of my phone. Um, oh, he's so big. Here's something that's from directions. Rotate none, flip none. Uh, we'll do one more. Let's see if I can make, get this to do something else. Otherwise, we might need to rotate none, flip none. So that was two iPhone photos, one in landscape and one in portrait, and there were no difference. Okay. Huh. So what else can we do? What else can we do? Image, crop. So what does, so crop, crops the image based on a rectangle specified by the user. The resulting crop will be a whole cut in the image made by the rectangle. Um, so this is, I guess we can do, let's do, okay, I, I, I want to show you guys something first, but otherwise this does not make any sense. So let's go for, this, use this photo. We don't need it for, so here is the baby pig. Um, we use that as the upload. So maybe I actually need to, I just want to figure out if the size is, because this one looks like a smaller, small, 387 and five, hang on. Did, did I, did I, are you, are you still yelling at the screen again? Height, width. I, okay, I switched them here and there, wow. Okay, huh. Wow, okay. So we are good, this is 550 and 380. So we should be able to, let's, um, let's say image crop, 50 comma 50 comma image get we are in width so image get width minus a hundred and image get height minus a hundred so I assume that will take 50 by 50 away from home um, so now we need to either show the image on screen or we can just download it again, I guess. How do we download it? Uh, save. Turn out stream. Okay, so now we, now we actually need, because if we wanna go download, so download from stream needs an in stream, right? So, so now we need to have a, a actually have some memory of our own because the code unit temp blob and then we need an outstream also. So we will go here and say temp blob create outstream. So an outstream is a stream that you write data to and in stream is a, a, a stream that you read data from. So the stream itself has no memory. It's just a pipe. Um, and if we create the temp blob, so there's memory, then we plug in the out stream and then we can write data into the temp blob. If we create an in stream and connect that to temp blob, then we can write data out 
of the Templar. So this is super confusing. There's even a video on that. Uh, an old, old video on, on how all these weird names are not really making any sense. Uh, but that's the way it works. So you always, if you want to put something, data into something, you use an outstream. If you want to get data out of something, you use an in-stream. I didn't make the rules. Uh, anyway, so now we are saving our data in here. And now we can go and say temple up, create in-stream. So we're just going to reuse the stream we used up earlier here because the stream doesn't hold any data. It's just the pipe to connect between them. So we'll go here and then we'll go in-stream, comma, uh, Dialog title don't care, folder doesn't care, filter doesn't care. Um, and we'll just do x plus, oh, how about an underscore? Underscore plus the file name that was uploaded. Uh, and that has to be a var, actually. So we can do, we can do file name. I'm just going to cheat here. Uh, you, are you okay with cheating? File name is equal file name uh, dot replace the dot with two and a dot. I think that'll work. Otherwise, you can start yell now if 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 I'm totally off on that one. Um, anyway, let's check this out image image stuff we grab the the baby pig we get a message and we get baby pig to uh, in downloads we open that and it's cropped huh you see that that is pretty nice um excellent um and we can all see well, what about artifacts so by i think the image is equally bad the one we got in and got out so it does not look like there is a jpeg extra added something um so that's interesting okay so that's crop what else can we do uh, that was crop. Uh, let's get rid of this message now. Um, image. So we had crop. Book, 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 get format. Get height. Get width. Resize. Rotate. Flip. And s um, so resize. And what are parameters? The width and the height. So, so let's uh, let's be nice to begin with get with uh, times two and image get height times two let's try this again image stuff come on we we'll grab the pick. We get a new file here. Uh, hang on, now I zoomed. Right, so we need to be at a hundred percent. This was this was the cropped version. This is the clearly resized. So what happened if we go, so here's what I want to try. I want to do something weird. So this one times one and a half and this one times 1.8. Is that behind my head? That might be behind my head. Sorry about that. Uh, was it? Uh, I am doing too many things on too many screens. Okay, so now I'm I'm not being nice here. Uh, so is resize 
only in scale or can we resize it we'll grab the pig again oh, oh now we got a breakpoint so let's click here and go locals and go down and then find overflow we can also this act so here's the this is this is what i still don't understand by all the good folks at microsoft is why when we get to breakpoint why we don't throw the exception in in the console that that is a mystery to me so overflow of conversion runtime decimal value to int that's fair enough. That's actually, uh, that's my bad. Because as soon as I do this, I the result of this is a decimal. Uh, it's not an integer. Um, so how about we do round? Comma one, and then we do round, comma one. Let's try this again. Again, come on, PC. Image stuff. Let's grab our friend. We got a file. Okay. It's good. Um, excellent. Okay. So resize is actually pretty flexible. That's good. Okay, what else are we missing? Um, set format. I guess we can change the format on it. Okay, hang on. Our, our best friend, the rotate flip. And what do we pass here? We pass a rotate flip type enum. So we do rotate flip type. What was the name again? Uh, did I say I can This is this is there's also a weird. There we go. Rotate one eighty flip none. Rotate one eighty flip x. Rotate one two seventy flip none. Flip x. Uh, let's just grab one. Rotate ninety. Flip X. So that would be would be like rotate minus ninety. Uh, so we have a duck, duck. Uh, so here's the, the challenge now that we need to be able to see what I is what. So where is our original little piggy? So the small I is here. So duck. Duck. I think that's right. Okay, uh, one more time. One more time. Let's do instead of rotate. So rotate two seventy. Flip none. I think is the one. Should this give this? Either I don't understand some of these, or there's some options that will give you the same image. So this is four. Let's find the one from before. That was three. Okay, so this is the opposite, right? Yeah, yeah, this is the opposite. 
which means that the three, so if I go and grab and rotate flip X here, I, I may I may be losing it. Um, but but hang on. Oh no, of course. Okay, I'm giving up. I, I, I think my... Clearly, the pick can get rotated a lot. Uh, so that's probably good. So the last thing was that we could say image dot set format. Image format. Huh. There's uh, quite a lot of options here. Um, what about a GIF? Just so we have the options to discuss how to pronounce it. I pronounce it GIF. Uh, actually, I pronounce it uh, more in the Danish way, but uh, I'm not Try that right now here. Uh, okay, fair enough. Uh, the name didn't change. Ooh, that broke. Interesting. Uh, let's just for. Let's just for, uh, let's add another. I know this is, these two lines could be one line, but uh, hey, just rename it and see this is not an issue with. So the problem with GIF is that GIF has a limited, uh, color space like there's only I don't know how many how many colors available in 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 a gif file so so if you have like a full color photo like this whatever image routine routine you have has to sample down uh, the colors to fit what's actually available okay so you can see that this is way more pixelated because of the reduced number of scrolls, but it did it. So it, it, I don't know what the fluke was with, with this one. Maybe it's called because the file is called JPEG. Excellent. Um, did I miss anything? We cropped, we have played with all the information. We have resized, we have rotated and flipped, uh, we have saved, and we have changed the format. Oh, that's pretty awesome. And um, so, the, but here, here's the thing, here's the, the bonus information, bonus information is that, um, this is open source uh, and it's open source. So here's the, what, wow. Okay, <laughs> here's the thing. So the BC apps repo on, 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 on GitHub, this is now where Microsoft are actually working on this. Um, and if we go and look at the commits here, we can see that, you know, there's Jesper, Andreas, uh, uh, let's see if we can recognize other names. Uh, Julia. Uh, there's a bunch of, this is where Microsoft is working on this. 
there's currently 11 pull requests open. Um, so where we had the AL apps before, that was kind of a shadow image uh, pretend repo where we could submit stuff to, to now. This is this is where Microsoft is working. So this is pretty cool. Uh, um, and and you can go in and, and you can comment on here's the new uh, number series uh, functionality. So Microsoft has started creating a business foundation layer where stuff is getting pulled out uh, of, of the base app and being made more generic so they can be used. And you no, know, here is uh the internal slash external discussion on how this should work and and you can participate uh you can start by going and reviewing like a pull request to see if there's there's if this pull request makes sense or not you can try it out you can just comment you can make suggestions you can you, you can create your own pull request um so that's freaking awesome. Um, and we, we have a video on this, on the other end, how to, uh, how to add something to, uh, to this, but that was still in the, the shadow of thing. Uh, now this is the real thing. And uh, I think it's cool. Uh, so what I was trying to say that if you're missing an image function, well, we can go here we can find it. We go to source. We go to uh, system application. We go to app. We scroll down until we find I for image. We go to the source code. And we go to image implement. And we can see that, okay, this is using the .NET image and graphics uh, pieces. Um, oh, image clear. So you can basically, so what are we missing here? And, and maybe that's a task for you guys that what about being able to put a text or draw a line or stuff like that? Uh, th that, that could be interesting. Here's the resize function. So it just calls into .NET resize. Uh, Smoothing mode and alias. Maybe we want to have different uh, smoothing mode things, interpolation modes and stuff like that. Maybe that's a pull request. But uh, I think that's pretty cool. And uh, I think it's awesome that we're getting all these libraries and functions available to us. Um, that was half an hour of the image manipulation. I'm sorry about that. But if you can deal with a bit more AL code, Check on this video. It's a good one. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.